So I've been buying more 172nd because I can't find this plane in 148 as far as I know. And if I do, it's going to be huge and I don't have a place to put it. So you've got a little about the aircraft in multiple languages, cartograph decal schemes. Over here, you got your three versions Coast Guard, which I like, I'll probably do, the Italian 75th anniversary, and the U.S. Army. There's about 10 sprues in here. And we're going to start with the fuselage. So, it's got nice recessed detail, so the kit's got to be relatively new. I looked at the box, and it's got a 2017 copyright date on it. Inside the fuselage, you've got separate bulkhead that is going to, I don't know how well you can see it, but you've got all that nice uh, soundproofing detail in there. And you've got those fins on the tail. And so this will just pop into there and give you some nice detail. And hopefully you can have the back open to show that detail. This one has a door with the tiniest bit of flash that's already gone. This door here, and again, hopefully you can display that open. It'll have some hinges or something. Because there is detail on that door on the inside. This one, other fuselage half, other inside with more soundproofing detail. This has some antennas on it. And this doesn't have the fins on the tail. But the same lovely recessed detail. Next bag has two sprues in it. First one's got the bottom, which this part broke. But that would be part of it. Probably broken until you have the bag. Bulkheads have some nice detail. I think this is the cockpit floor. Uh, no detail in there. This is the back, so I'm hoping there's a instructions on how to cut that open. But even if there is, you if there's not a cover, you're going to have to fill those ejector pin if you leave it open and there's not a panel to cover that. But this one, you can see four ejector pins. There's a little detail around the door. All the rest of the detail on the bulkhead is up there. Good recess detail on the bottom of the fuselage. And some other little parts. This one looks like the floor to the inside. And control surfaces. Some control panels, the instrument panel. So I'm guessing these are all cockpit panels. This looks like a for the roof of the cockpit. No real flash on any of these. No burring that I can see. This is the refueling probe. And I don't see any burring on the refueling probe at all. It looks good all the way around. The floor, good and textured with the tie downs built into it. They look really nice. If you got some 172nd um, vehicles that they would transport, it'll look good in there. Instrument panel. Got all the cutouts and dials, and then some of the other panels and gauges and displays and control boxes. Next, we've got the wings and a whole bunch of other stuff. Again, I don't like that they bagged everything multiples, but they did. Actually, this one, there's one bag for the wings and then another bag for engines and stuff. So let's look at wings because the control surfaces are separate. Very nice. And the tails, the wing across the top is all one piece. And it's got all little maintenance hatches. And then here's where you're going to put the engines, slung under. That's in the props yet, so I'm hoping they're in there. No sink marks that I can see. No flash that I can see. It's good that you've got posable surfaces. And you know, you want to clean these up before you mate the wings. 
but that's typical of aircraft builds. And this extra bag here. Three, four sprues in it of various sizes that I can't get out because I didn't cut it very well. Always well, we save your bags in case you've got stuff. Matching sprues, and here's where your props are. And actually, those look very nice. No flash. They're curved just, well you can see it, but they're curved just right. They're going to go into here. They're turbofan engines. Nice hatch detail. And you got the little openings where you pop the clips to open the hatches. Exhaust pipe. Victor pin marks on both sides, hopefully you won't see it, but the props do look really nice, and so does the nose cone. So, they get an A for those. And you can get no flash on your prop tips, that's good. These are matching, these are the wheels. Two-piece wheels. No weight on wheels. I'm guessing these are part of the struts. No names, no tread pattern, but you know, good hub detail for the brakes and the open spokes. I mean, for 72nd, which I don't build very often, as you know, the level of detail is nice. And then they've got seats, control sticks, nice looking seats. Belts molded in, control sticks, no burr rings, more antennas. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. Seat backs are in one piece. So, very good detail, front and back, for the seats. I guess they don't have ejected, ejection seats in those. Oops, bad boy open, here's our clear parts. It's going to require some generous masking. But it is raised framing, so it shouldn't be too hard. And check Edward's side, see if they have a mask for it. If not, just hand me a tape and a sharp knife. But they're clear. That doesn't help. They're clear. They look good. There's no real distortion. They're not overly thick for 72nd, which you worry about. And then all the bulkhead windows, which I'll probably just use uh, crystal clear, make my own little windows. For some reason, we have a code for playing Sudden Strike 4. So, I'm guessing the code for everyone's Calypso. So if you don't play the game, there's your code. Cartograph printed decals. Designed by and printed by Cartograph. They're beautiful. The color's amazing. And that, I think I have to check my references. It might be a little too red for the Coast Guard, or it might be spot on. But you know, these stencils for the door. All these stencils look great. The wolf's head looks great. The walkways. It's cartograph. Enough said. Here's our booklet. Color, at least for the front page. A little bit about the aircraft in multiple languages. Pick your language and pause it. Brew map. I was just looking for a copyright date on the booklet and don't see one. One thing I've seen so far is 2017. There's more sprue map. 
starting with the cockpit, the bulkheads. It's got okay. There's your color callouts, matching numbers, which it does give you as your painting guide. I'd look at pictures for sure. But you're doing your cockpit, then you're attaching the floor. So you are going to cut the back off if you want the ramp open. Only opened version, you cut the back of the ramp off. Other than that, it stays up. More bulkhead parts, then you're doing your wheels and your landing gear, which you're going to have to install into there before you put it together. So when you're painting, you have to be careful. If you're going to display it open, you've got to cut these two cuts right here. Like I thought. And you've got to drill out some holes. Pay attention to your directions. <coughs> Sides attaching to the bottom. So, you're going to have the upper seam. Actually, this is the interior part, so. This part here, you're not going to worry about. Because this is all the inside. This is the open. So actually, it's only this part here that is going to be seen. This part stays closed. Right? Okay. This part opens upward. So you don't need to worry about those ejector pin marks. This part opens downward. And as you can see... Where can you see? This part is attaching to this one middle part you cut off. So that does have a plate on it. So the ramp goes down and has detail. The door that's got the ejector pin where it goes up, you don't have to worry about it. Glass going inside, drilling more holes depending on the version you're doing. So pay attention, version B has those holes. You want to add 50 grams of weight to the front. It's nice they put that in there. Front wheels look like they can go on last. Which, I don't know. You've got a ladder in the door. Right here. That's some nice detail for the door. Antennas everywhere. This is version A through C, these parts here. A or C. This is version B, these parts here. Then you're back to this part with the engines, which is for every version. So pay attention to your versions. I'm thinking version B is the Italian, because A and C are the Coast Guard and the Army. Your wings going on, your engines going on your wings. Your props. Um, is the prop is attached to this. You have decals on the props too. So you can leave the props off. You may just have to attach the spinner part, the back of the spinner part. Then install the props after painting. And you're putting the wings on, the glasses are already on and masked, tail fins, one more antenna for version A through C. And then, this is gloss white, and that's obviously not white, because this is gloss white too. And that's 4682, this is 4696, so they made a boo-boo in the instructions. And then the Italian one, flat like gray. And the Army one, flat like gray. And that's it. This is for ordering parts. If they're defective or you've broken some. So there you have it. C-27J Spartan. Beautiful 72nd aircraft. It's going to be a big one. Sit along next to my... Uh, what was the other one I just reviewed? Dang, my memory's slipping away. Wasn't the Osprey. Huh. Anyway. I'm getting a lot of these 70 second transporters, so, but that's as far as I go 70 second, because I got a 70 second B-52 on its way too, the new model collect one. 
so I'm gonna have to have a space for 70 seconds. Thanks for watching. Take one of the kits out of your collection, build it, or go buy one of these. I think it'll look nice. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.